big deals Chrome heart got me kissing on his best friend Put in work, baby, you could be my best man Sending cash to my account, he investing Dark shades on when I'm off the Migos He tryna cuff me like a nigga in a Rico Moving through this shit like GTA with a cheat code He claimed that he love me, but be fucking all the freak hoes I just wanna dance all night Well, good morning, internet peoples Welcome to the vlog uh, I don't know if you can tell But I'm not in San Diego If you saw the video from last week you would know that this week I was in San Diego at the optical fiber conference Zero exercise done a little bit of walking from the hotel to the conference, but aside from that nothing Four straight days off the bike. Am I feeling those four days today? Hell yeah, I'm feeling those now, I got back on Thursday night, late Thursday night, early Friday morning. Thank you, Air Canada, for the four hour delay. I did get on Zwift on Friday, and I did get on a little bit on Saturday. Today is Sunday, March 31st. Happy Easter to those who celebrate. I'm celebrating Easter by um, stretching the legs on the bike. It is a zone two, heart rate zone two type of ride today not stretching it this time of the year i'm more about time in the saddle versus trying to get my ftp up into the 400s which is never going to happen my friends anywho it's good to see you it is a breezy day the last uh, i know it's not winter anymore it is officially spring but the last vestiges of winter are holding on it's a tad nipply so i'm dressed appropriately for it Uh, thank you Yeah, I'd like to get about 50k in today and again, I'm, I'm not killing myself until I turn into the wind Why didn't we do that? It's actually been a few minutes since I last uh, Since I was last speaking with you. I wanted to talk to you while I was pushing into that headwind. It was nasty As all you cyclists know Pushing into colder air is way harder and soul-destroying I just picked this moment here with a bit of a reprieve from the wind to have a chat. This time last year, I think I talked about Linda and I signing up for a charity ride. We've done it again, 70 kilometers, which is a good distance at the start of the year. Good way to slowly ride into the year. It's the uh, CN ride for Chio. The Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario. So we'll be doing that. I will bring the camera as I did last year. A lot of people, a lot of fun. One downside is it's a mass start. Thousands of people. So, pro tip, get there early, get to the front. Otherwise the rollout takes forever. So yeah, we're gonna do that. San Diego was good, thanks for asking. Lots of fun, lots of tequila, lots of tacos. The uh, unhoused problem hasn't gotten any better. I don't know if you've uh, been to San Diego recently, down in the gas lamp area, which is kind of touristy. It's a little bit like The Walking Dead. Kind of intimidating walking back to the hotel late at night. Bit of construction up ahead. Catch up in a second. This headwind is so bad. It's one of those stop you in your tracks headwinds. I almost considered getting off the bike and taking a break. Soul destroying, I tell you. I apologize. If there's anything stuck in my teeth, I just inhaled the cliff bar because I need a bit of juice to get me home. Whew. <clears throat> okay, pulled over for a second. It's so windy, I think there's white caps. So in front of me is uh, Dow's Lake. I've shown this to you before, uh, both frozen and thawed. Here you go. I swear to God, there's white caps on there today. <laughs> it's so windy. <laughs> ha! I love it. Oh yeah, okay. I heard somewhere once that Mike Woods loves training in the, in the high winds, pushing into it. Um, extra training effect big boost in the fitness i'm not mike woods 
Okay, uh, I can't stop for too long. A couple of reasons. Uh, it's cold and I don't want to get hypothermic. But another reason is I, I've got a slow leak. Uh, so I'm looking for some advice uh, from you peeps. Uh, tubeless, that's what I'm running. I put some more sealant in there just in case, just to see if uh, maybe there's a small hole. Um, but uh, and I did inspect it. it; doesn't seem to be an issue just yet. Um, there's no sealant coming out of the tire. So, to be perfectly frank, I think the issue is the valve. Valve? <laughs> it's the valve. <laughs> I'm tired. Jet lag, people. The valve, I think, is leaking some air. I took out the valve core to put more sealant in and it was a little sticky. Um, so I don't know what, maybe uh, spray some uh, soapy water on there and see if it bubbles. Maybe. Is that the solution? Like slow leak, it's probably losing about 20 to 30 psi overnight. I don't know how slow that is. Probably not very slow. Anyways, let me know. Any tips for solving a slow leak in a tubeless tire? Ah, hypothermia is setting in. Let's get going. It's good to see more cyclists out and about. It means the spring is here. But I'm often surprised at seeing the number of high quality bikes out so early on in the season. I don't know what you do with your bikes. I'm assuming like me, you have more than one. You've got that that number one bike that rarely sees inclement weather and it's certainly not coming out this early on in the season. This time of the year is for your crappy bike. This time of the year is for your cyclocross bike but uh, hey maybe if you only have one bike and it's a super beautiful Bianchi then what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Made it home. <laughs> you know what it's like right? Block headwind and you're just hunkered down over the top of your bike, chewing on that stem, just praying for it to end or a turn in the road. So that's what, uh, that's what it was like on the way back. Yeah, so it was supposed to be a heart rate zone two ride turned into a heart rate zone three, zone four ride. I will endeavor to do better at that. It's just hard. <laughs> it's just hard. Anyways. These early season rides outside are supposed to be a little bit difficult. Anyways, guys, that's a wrap. Um, have a little bit of cycling shopping to do next week. A few things, a few bits and bobs that we need to get for our bikes, both Linda and myself. Um, so uh, I'll bring you along for that little shop-a-thon. Should be fun. Again, happy Easter to those of you who celebrate Easter. Um, I know a lot of people are off work tomorrow. I unfortunately am not, um, and neither is Linda. Back to the old grindstone tomorrow. Uh, we will regroup next week. Have a great week. Take care.